Soichiro Honda was born by a blacksmith father who owned a bicycle repair business on November 7, 1906. Honda had no formal education but helped his father with his bicycle repair business until he was age 15. At this age, he considered moving to Tokyo to get a job and increase his chance of succeeding in life. By 1922, Honda was in Tokyo and working as an apprentice car mechanic, where he learned how to work on automobile machines. Honda worked there for six years before he returned home in 1928 to set up his automobile repair business. Honda, being eager to put his experience and knowledge of automobile repair to work, established the Tokai Siki Company Limited to make piston rings. However, the project didn't yield the expected results. After seven years of trying without success, the curious and ambitious Honda concluded that his technical knowledge wasn't sufficient and needed to be upgraded. So Honda got enrolled in a technical school in 1935 with the main goal of discovering why he couldn't produce piston rings. A few years later, he was able to successfully make piston rings not only for automobiles but also for motorcycles and airplanes. Honda began to make profits and gain popularity. In 1948, Honda noticed a dirt in the supply of motorcycles at the time. He saw this as a big opportunity for him to make a profit in the business. He quickly formed the Honda Motor Company Limited with 13 employees and launched his first motorcycle, which he named Dream D a year later. This was the beginning of his monumental success. Two years later, Honda introduced the 1500cc E model Dream. These motorcycles were successfully accepted in the market and sales were doing well. Nevertheless, Honda wasn't carried away by his success. Instead, he continued to improve on his motorcycle designs and quality. By 1959, Honda had become the largest motorcycle manufacturer in the world, producing about 500,000 motorcycle units a year. Honda expanded his business internationally, and there was a huge global market for his light, fun-to-ride and cheap motorcycles. Ambitious Honda moved on with his next plan, car manufacturing. In 1972, Honda jumped into the competitive marketplace of car manufacturing and his preceding success assisted him to move ahead. His first car was the Honda Civic and it was an instant success. Within five years, Honda sold about 375 Honda Civics in the US market. Although Honda launched several other successful car models that reached all parts of the world, Honda Civic remained Honda's best-selling car selling over 20 million units to date. In the late 1970s, where other car manufacturers like Nissan and Toyota only managed to sell one-third of their cars to the US market, Honda had sold about half of his cars in the same market. This made Honda the first Japanese car maker to be inducted into the Automobile Hall of Fame in 1988. As of 2018, Honda was valued at $50.4 billion. Here is the thing, relentlessness is in the blood of success. People who succeed in life are often as ordinary as everyone else, but they are usually restless people who would not be satisfied with the judgment of others or the society. By virtue of his background, Sochiro Honda should end his life as a blacksmith or a mechanic. Considering the fact that he didn't have any significant formal education, his destiny should be among the ordinary people of the world. But Honda won't end where the world expects him to. He was going to break all the barriers and forge ahead to build one of the most successful businesses in the world. Be restless, be curious, be eager, seek to know what others don't, seek to dream what others don't, see to try what others don't. Stop looking at where you are and start focusing on where you want to be. Andre Guide said, Man cannot discover new oceans unless he has the courage to lose sight of the shore. You can get to new heights in life unless you have the courage to let go of your present position. Dare, dare, dare. That's what it is. Though born by ordinary parents, Sochiro Honda dared to dream a big dream. Though he lacked formal education, he dared to believe that he could achieve anything. 
who learned, studied, and made mistakes to then build one of the most successful companies in the world. Dare your dream with all your might. Never let your background keep you to the ground. Stop seeing who you are. Start seeing who you want to be. If you like this video, do subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified when we publish our next video. Also, like this video or share it with your friends on social media. Thank you. We love you.